Hello, hello, hello! It's Lumen here with Agricola today. As you can tell by the title of this stream, this is game number 999 for me on PlayAgricola.com. Well, more specifically, it's my 999th four player game. Let's see what we got here. Um, whenever you use traveling players, you can build a free stable or turn a stable in for two pigs. So it's kind of like you get a pig on traveling players, but only uh, in the right time. Excuse me. Philosopher gives you wood when you reno. Vine dresser is fun. Especially Grain Lover into Vine Dresser, just need a veg source, but Job Seeker is definitely the best card here. Hello, Wolfie and Enwall. How are you guys doing today? Power game here. Not... Am I? Are we still up for Naked Agricola for game 1000? You know, I haven't done my research into the Twitch policies, uh, but if you want to do that research for me, I do think that uh, there were some new policies implemented by Twitch. I got an email about it not too long ago because like the just chatting section has uh, questionable things going on all the time, I guess. Not really sure how that one works. Uh, but yeah, Grain Lover, Vine Dresser, Bear Trainer, even Basket Weaver seems okay on the rebound. Harvester is the first four wood card I've seen in like three games. Um, this is just Stone Carver here. Clerk is okay. Ameliorator only works for majors, so it doesn't trigger stone carver also i don't know if i want to trade in just a reed for a point or a, a wood for a point or, or a stone for a point you can't even do that with a major so it's only really useful in pottery i would say seems kind of weak but i mean it's a good card design it's just kind of weak uh delivery man or harvester is the pick here hi rilo how are you doing I think delivery man or harvester. Harvester is more flexible, and I think I don't want people knowing about it. Wolfie, I don't have an animal yet. How can you name it? Oh, wow. I'm sorry to hear about your connection. And well, I guess my first animal, probably sheep, is going to be named Oh, wow. Well, thank you for your redemption of channel credits. I hope that it uh, ends up being useful. Carrot and master. <laughs> well, yeah, I had no idea, Wolfie. I had no idea. Um, I think I just have to take Hut Builder here. Job Seeker's pretty reliably going to hit in Stage 1. I was planning on doing Harvester for that, but... Hello, Marushka. Looks like we got a fun crew here already. Um, yeah, on the rebound, I'm getting one of these five, or I have a choice between two of them. It's probably going to be between one of the master things, and that's fine. Probably master cook is fine with uh, job seeker. I mean, photographer is great. It's just that hut builder is really, really good, too. How do you not have 5k channel credits, Don? But, well, you know what? You kind of have, like, uh... Oh, can I never use graduate? That's hilarious. Um, yeah, with Harvester, Carrot Farmer would be fantastic. Um, uh, well, 
Well, Don, but given that you're the top uh, giver of uh, subs, I feel like I kind of have to listen to you no matter what, uh, if you really care about something. Uh, 5k for graduate, a useless awk. That would be pretty sad. I mean, I think I can veto that kind of thing, right? William has the veto rule. I think I can have the veto rule for frickin' graduate when I have job seeker in hand. Um, well, guys, uh, one idea that was given to me is that, well, this is game 999, right? It's, uh, the prelude to something special. Um, tomorrow is going to be my 1,000th four-player game, so if... Uh, one idea I got was to just have the game be with uh, followers and subscribers and such. Uh, so if that sounds interesting to you, we can arrange ahead of time for us to play at noon Pacific tomorrow. Um, we'd kind of want to make sure I have interest from three or four people for that. Non-committal, but if I can get at least two of them, uh, two of you guys for that game and have like the fourth be random, then... Okay, so here, Politician is fantastic. Spring Worker could be fun. Um, Studmaster is good. Spring is hard with this setup, I agree. Politician is probably the safest. Do I have a special format in mind? No. Yeah, I agree that Politician is easy, though Studmaster could really do some work. I have a good chance at wheeling Longbowman. Um, the problem is I don't remember what Longbowman does. Politician's too good. Studmaster is good. Okay, here's what I'm doing. I'm going to look up what Longbowman does because I freaking forgot. This is kind of sad. Whenever you use an action space orthogonally adjacent to an animal space, you can trade a wood from your supply to take one of the animals. Now this probably could do something fun with Studmaster. Politician's just good early. I'll take Politician. Uh, that one is probably Archer. I can't say for sure. Uh, Bear Trainer. This one seems generically fine. Uh, Basket Weaver with Politician. Cook could be playable with Hut Builder Politician. But I think Basket Weaver or Bear Trainer is a lot better here. I'm doing good today. Thanks, Marushka. Basket Weaver with Politician just seems good, but getting stables? Basket Weaver does seem very easy. Bear Trainer also seems pretty easy, and it's something I haven't played before. And building or returning stables, I think there's enough stable games to play to potentially make it worth it. Okay, well, there's Longbow Man, and... Uh, Basket Weaver is really great with Politician, but you know, Stone Carver is not bad either. Longbow Man's just not good enough to try. I don't think I want to be giving away my wood with a Hut Builder. And then Carrot Farmer came back. Instead of Master Fencer, which is what I expected. Can I get away with master cooking? 
Carrot farmer is just a lot better. Ooh, clay hut extension. Oh, and there's also the newest uh, downsizing style card. I'm going to really look for this on the rebound. I like this one a lot, and I don't think anyone else does. Uh, this is pretty clearly Clay Hut Extension. There's not much else good here. Uh, pet Door could be okay. Getting a Grain when I take Stone seems good with Stone Carver Politician. I'm not guaranteeing Go for Nur, but, you know, I might end up with uh, a bunch of Clay or Stone Rooms. Yeah, Master Cook needs to be slow. So uh, Honeymoon or well, Honeymoon's probably gonna get taken. Honeymoon, Goldmine, Curtail, and Convert are all pretty good here on the rebound. Fish Farm, not really. I mean, Clay Hut Extension is not weak sauce, right? Pumpkin Seed Press seems interesting, actually. Leftovers is probably the best card here. Boar Park is Park Cemetery, but for fences. Kind of good that I didn't... Oh, wait, never mind. I did take Bear Trainer. Um... I guess it's just Leftovers. And then hope for man liquid manure or no hoe and carrot farmers and non bow. Keys is notable but not good. It's my card. My card is uh, you get a stone when someone else takes two wood up to six times or six wood up to two times. Town Hall is good for whoever went for the stone stuff. Granary is pretty darn good here. <laughs> JP says, I didn't take a card. I thought I did. Classic. Classic. Granary, easy pick. Just wanted to let you know I first picked Schnapps in that game a couple days ago. That pile was totally garbage. Oh no. I apologize if I made an incorrect comment at some point. Granary with a carrot farmer. I mean, I just got to get on plow enough. Which Master Cook would have wanted to do pretty easily. But I had too many early, th early things to do. Animal farm. How is animal animal farm coming forth? Um, hmm, grain bag. Fun, but not super useful. Stone tongs or ram are the other considerations, and those just aren't strong enough. Stone tongs, of course, good with politician and stone carver, but uh, animal trap. I guess I'll try to get some animals by the mid-game after I get my rooms in and then see where things go. So, uh, it turns out that people drafted well, and I don't have Curtail and Convert, and I don't have whatever the other one was that I was... Oh, Honeymoon? Yeah, that wasn't happening. Uh, Fish Farm? No. Wild Breeding? Okay. I mean, I could do zero wood rooms, Wolfie. I'm thinking I still might do a wood room and just let Hut Builder get my fifth room. I think this pick is either kitchen cabinet or basket. Yeah, exactly, Wolfie. Wild breeding could be okay because that kind of gives me an animal if I need it. 
but it's pretty weak. Gosh, I have a lot of things I want to play pretty early. Kitchen cabinet should be easy enough to play. Basket should be also. I don't know what I'm going to feed with. I mean, I have enough food in my hand, but I don't know what I'm going to feed with. So I should make a decision, but that decision won't be basket. Um, probably a hearth. Yeah, Bear Trainer, Carrot Farmer, say Hearth. Leftovers says Hearth. Animal Farm says Hearth. Okay, so I'll take Kitchen Cabinet. Then... Well, I mean, Cabinet is free, so... Good enough. Dingy throws wood into the game, and I think I like that here. Well, I really want clay in the game. I really want this to be a clay-heavy game, but I saw not much evidence of that. I guess I take Boar Park. Dingy is neat. Yeah, wild breeding definitely would have had a use. But, I mean, I think kitchen cabinet could come in handy so I don't have to take major by itself at any time, really. Uh, here I could go for fruit tree house. The other option being stable. Bread paddle could be fun. Because Job Seeker, I could hold off on a knock until I can bread paddle a grain to bake, but my grain isn't coming super early. Fruit Tree House is generally a trap, right? Well, yeah, I do have, I do have stronger stuff than that in all stages, but you never know. You might, like, not have the resources for greenery, or it might not be the right time to play Clay Hut Extension or something. There's a lot of ways that having flexibility from Kitchen Cabinet. I mean, I'm a big fan of Traveling Salesman. Um, not saying it's strong, but it has more use cases than most people. Or I find it to have more use cases than most people might. Uh, Bear Trainer likes a stable, I think. It gives me more opportunities to return boar. So I'm not going to go too hard for something like Fruit Tree House. And I get Start Player major pops in round one so this is reedstone food because everyone else is going to play the ox so i can play job seeker and then two clay going for fireplace seems fine Delivery man for JV. So with bear trainer, I think you want to have three stables before you return one. Alternatively, I could go for a lot of stables with my first, oh, synergizer. Yikes, so that's an automatic harvester points for Kimball. Also means I kind of want to get out of the way. I don't want to play Carrot Farmer until pretty late. Uh, so JP taking wood instead of clay first does matter a tiny bit. JP saying that kills his whole plan. Well, do you know about Carrot Farmer? Um... Two player, two wood.
Yeah, with Bear Trainer, a stable is just two pigs. So I could, like, build a room in eight pigs. Which seems pretty useful for uh, Animal Farm. Kaviki getting out Stone Tongs to go first seems good. Uh, I still don't need to play Ox. Chris, praise Chris for giving us Sheep Round 2. Um, two reed is pretty flexible. Three wood is also quite fine. Probably want to take two reed. And then build fireplace. And then next round, start job seeking. Or play job seeker so I can play hut builder round four and uh, harvester or politician round five. Maybe even bear trainer. JP has photographer. JP quickly becoming the fan favorite here. I can't really compete with... Uh, Oh, Def Leopard lyrics. Yeah, I can't compete with that. Um, two wood, no, fireplace. Is it never okay to play granary with wood? This might be one of the games if I'm going clay. <laughs> Wrong photograph, Wolfie. That is by far the, the worst uh, photograph here. If, if y'all don't know Def Leppard photograph, that, that's one of my favorite songs. Um, Fantastic stuff. Uh, so I probably play Job Seeker first action. Even no four wood, I'll take. Kaviki agrees though with that valuation. Uh, so I think I can Job Seeker into four clay. Probably oh a tutor there. Missed that. Well, Job Seeker loves to see that. I am going to hold off and see what resources I can get. I think it's too early to make a decision there. Reedstone seems really fun with Politician. I want to be hammering that as much as I can. But uh, if I play an Auk, I'm guaranteed three wood, four clay, or Reedstone. So. But I'm, I am behind on room parts compared to Kaviki, and I'm not especially big on start player. JP getting the reed stone. Kimball fishes for three. Needing a feeding action, wanting to plow, and then wanting sow next round. Kaviki takes the clay. So I get the wood. Yeah, growing second, I mean, whatever needs less start player actions is is always my my go-to i i am yet to decide on if i'm building a wood room or not because we might have late growth and like four clay four clay actions coming um and getting fencing wood early would be absolutely huge or at least stable wood uh so jp takes traveling uh i need to play my hut builder
Right. First room uh, upstream from me is totally fine. I might get four wood and sheep here. Kabiki takes reed stone. Makes sense. Four wood is good regardless of which path I take. So JP takes the reed, getting a wood in round six, not especially helpful. Kimball has a free action before the sow. Four clay makes a lot of sense for him. Three wood definitely fine as well. Could even have an Ock. Did Vine Dresser land with Kimball and he's only going to synergize these three times? I'd say Vine Dresser doesn't make much sense. Synergizer is just a better way to do plowing. Philosopher. So uh, adding some wood into the game, that certainly says that Kimball has Master Fencer. Did I see Country Doctor this game? I might have seen Country Doctor in the first pack. No, I might have just be thinking about the VOD, I was, my own VOD that I was watching. Kabiki doesn't have to build here unless he fears a wood from JP and instead takes four clay. Makes sense. Oh, I, have, I have a room in round 11. Um, taking the sheep. Uh, I could play an Auk in round five. Uh... Mm, so Harvester or Politician with uh, round five being Stone. I don't want to give Kimball three points. Okay, so... Is JP going to start player? I don't think that would be a good move. It's pretty risky in case uh, the 50% chance that growth is seven. Ah, keys, okay. So I was kind of uh, screwed in the queue regardless, I guess. Kimball with a very nice reed stone here. Kaviki did right in building a room round five. Well, with keys, it's, uh, it's totally fine. Without keys, it's, it is a complete waste 50% of the time. So that's, that's on me and Kaviki for forgetting keys. We both saw it, I think. Four clay and three wood both seem fine here. Kaviki gets the hearth.
Yeah, no worries, Medino. So I probably want a food action next round if my game is a bit behind. I could have taken three wood. Basically, Kimball gets the six wood. Yeah, and gets to just plow here. It was that or give him six clay. So I guess getting six wood is better. Uh, is not that much worse. It's definitely worse, but it's not that much worse. And we do get renovate round six. For me, wooden room is pretty uh, solid. Yeah, too little clay to get tempo, I agree. Three clay is not a great action though, Wolfie. I, I'm a bit of a purist when it comes to making sure I get good actions. Ooh, JP plays Dingy. So gets the three food off fishing to feed, puts three wood into the game. I think that's good for me. Kabiki gets to take the sheep. And if he doesn't, then I do. Has to be a mandatory sheep grab for Kabiki. And indeed, we see that. Um, for Kimball... I guess I better take the food here. And build second action. Yeah, with Animal Farm ready to go, it should be fine. Uh, three stables with a room here into bear trainer later Kimball can try for the start build Well, I, I'm a clay action away from, uh... oh, a clerk here. I guess if you have it in a tutor, you better play it soon. Um, I think playing clay hut extension is still possible. But I don't see a reason to, uh... I think I can still try for a big house. I don't think that's a bad thing. All right, I'm going to take a minute off here. Be back soon. Feel free to discuss what I'm doing terribly.
Uh, would have gone for Clay Hut extension and Const and Hut Builder makes sense. Crying Stone! Somebody played my card! Uh, that might be the first time. Uh, okay, so Kimball didn't start, which means I get to grow relatively soon. Three Stone is fantastic. Three Wood and a Food is good. Uh, four Clay was taken by Kimball. Probably just four Wood so I can play Greenery on Start Player or Growth. Late growth is not great for a job seeker. So I can't play leftovers yet. Kitchen cabinet is playable. <laughs> Boar Park's playable, Stable is playable. Basket. <laughs> JP forgetting how basket works. Oh wow, Kimball going for uh, a Reno pumpkin seed press. This tutor does need to get to work. It does seem like Kimball's going uh, Reno strats though, so. No. Uh... Oh, there was at least two wood on the spot. Could wood police or I can stone police. Uh, or I could take four food. If I didn't have politician, I would probably would police. This makes wood room okay in your opinion? Let's hear it for uh, results oriented uh, opinions. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Kaviki with a cooking corner. That's fun. Uh, the corners here are a bit messed up. Wait, no. Never mind. Kimball just got a bunch of crap. <laughs> uh, start. Do I need to start? And also no food. Yep, I'm just gonna leave it like that. That might be the first time it's ever activated in a game. Uh, With boars popping here, bear trainer seems worse. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's get some ox. Oh, faster. <laughs> Still a clay short of a clay room, but now can reno. Let's go, Tudor. Start working. I can't build uh, to save things because of uh, keys, but otherwise I would. Um, let's see. Kaviki took reed stones up to five stone now. So I'm start player something and then family growth granary. I guess cabinet. See? What else was I going to play here? Could play boar park, but I don't think I want to do that. With someone else having stud master, that doesn't seem super wise. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to be playing Granary with three wood here. Uh, clay seems quite fought over right now. Wild breeding would get me a sheep. Kimball renoing with the hearth. JP builds a room, forcing me to grow first action. That's fine. Um, these animal spots are probably getting taken. I could play Basket Maker's Workshop to feed. I need four, three clay to pull off a uh, clay hut extension. You're calling foreign labor on Kimball? Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, it's Treehouse. That's fine. Uh, and so I will be starting player uh, to get the hut builder room. So I get the four food boars. Uh... Eat all my animals. Well, if I get six clay, I could reno clay oven, but you really don't want to bake this grain. I could have ox stone carver. No, I couldn't. Nobody has three ox yet. Or only one person has three ox. I need two people to have three ox. Unless you mean my job seeker is bad, in which case you're completely right. What has happened here? Kaviki played well, Builder. Okay. No worries, JP. It's, it's uh, never super easy to read everything that's going on. 
JP playing Field Warden. Okay, so now we have some Oxen coming. I like this. I think uh, Bear Trainer is the right one to do. Kaviki Renos with the well. Well, well, well. Joinery could be okay here. There is a lot of wood, but I think I'd rather just um, get Basket Maker's Workshop first with Politician and this kind of stuff going on. Oh, I need to play this. Kimball grew with spices and I play Bear Trainer. Start player. Leftovers. Even though I don't have a pasture yet. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can just turn in the stables for pigs. So I can get four food, two pigs at the cost of a stable here. I'd also like to reno to get this room to be clay. Kimball looks like uh, just fencing 15, not going to do the uh, master fencer thing. With the animals at 1-1-1, one, 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 that's definitely the right time to fence. Maybe, Wolfie. I mean, I can just... Re oh, I'm reading Bear Trainer wrong. And Kaviki has Master Fencer. Well, this took a turn. Um, why didn't I just play Basket Maker's Workshop? Why did I play Leftovers? What am I doing? So S to read, then two, three, three. No, I don't like the idea of getting rid of the grain here. I really want to sow it first. <laughs> Kimball's having quite a good game. Uh, Synergizer with round seven growth. There is plenty of wood, yes, and I think I'm not playing Harvester. Uh, four reeds seems like quite a good action to me. Actually... Oh, fun, Wolfie. 
Uh, what's your um, handicap? I golfed uh, for my high school. And I'm kind of wearing a golf shirt right now. Nobody really needs Reed. And I can grow clay oven, or I can grow clay hut extension. Get my room. Or I can just get a hearth. Yeah, I'm not really doing a great job activating leftovers. So I want to take the read. I want to take another food action. You think it justifies it? I personally still don't see it. Sorry. I want to get this grain in the ground. I'm not going to have a ton of fields by the end here. Oh, animal trap for Kabiki. That's nice. I've seen it in a lot of my games recently. So here I have five food in a stable or just two boars. Try to get both. Otherwise, the read on the last move seems okay. Might. That's fair. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have played Bear Trainer because uh, of how I can't read. Well, my stone is three food with Basket Maker's Workshop. I really need uh, JP or Kimball to play a knock. Oh, Kaviki plays Crop Farmer, so... Oh, with Master Fencer, that's nice. That's really nice. Uh, yeah, let's float the reed. Kimball going so big here and JP plowed. I'm still start player. Am I going to not play clay hut extension? It looks like I'm not going to play clay hut extension. Whoa, Kabiki is fencing here because they are short of food action. Okay, well that's unexpected and cool. Did I get Plowso for free? 
Oh, no, no, not intrusive at all. Not intrusive in the slightest. Um... If, if I ever do find the chat intrusive, which I sometimes do, it, it's not you. It's uh, the overall thing. Like, I just am capable of tuning it out. So there's a ton of wood on the table, because that's how this game is working. JP takes a veg. Growth turnip field and plow so? That's the only line I can think where that makes. Well, no, then you don't even need plow so. Ooh, Kimball playing diligent farmer. Got pastures, grain, and fields. Nice. Well, also, that lets me play an Ock next round. Uh, Carrot Farmer, I guess. Better than Stone Carver. I do have the right amount of clay. That's definitely true. So, six wood, six reed are my top actions here. Probably four wood over six reed. Yeah, well, that's Synergizer in a round seven growth game for you. Well, I got the six wood back. Doesn't quite feel fair. Uh, so I can fence and take six reed. Not as strong with checkers. True. What did JP do? Family growth with foxberries? Okay. And now plow sowing with the last action. I shouldn't assume that. I should fence if I can. Kimball took reedstone. Kaviki taking the clay, probably going for clay oven. And I'll take six reed. And then next round I'll have traveling players for two boar. I got there. Uh, and then leftovers can fire twice. Kimball takes two stone. I guess he's going for joinery to eat up some of the wood that's left in this game. He does have room for a fourth person here. Kaviki starting with Honeymoon. I think that's too aggressive. Got too much space to fill on that farm, I would say. All right, let's take this read before anyone gets ideas. Uh, and get this carrot farmer down. No chance of me hitting it three times. Uh, 
Hey Axiom, uh, nice username. I did not see Stone House extension, but that's definitely possible. I think I'm just gonna take farming moves and hope a uh, normal plow comes back to me here. Kimball's got an amazing farm though. I don't see how I'm gonna beat that. Well, Kaviki uh, got Plowso, so good on him for realizing that was possible. I can buy clay oven now. So start player definitely option. Could buy pottery also. Pottery seems pretty fun. Two sheep, definitely good. And then traveling also, probably a necessary move for me here. JP only fencing nine. That's incredibly strange. So I'll see if I get sheep here. If I was Kaviki, I would have uh, fenced a single up here, but I guess it doesn't matter. Kimball playing Chief. Okay, this definitely looks like Stone House extension. I think I don't need to take Start Player here. The... The farming actions are too strong. JP taking a plow. And Axiom is correct. It is a stone house extension. Very cool. Well, Kimball needed to grow, right? JP can start. I, I just have too many things to do. Um, Yeah, I'll I'll save this grain. Maybe I'll get to uh, sow it. Hello, KLJ. No worries. Um, yeah, Kimball's definitely having a fine game here. Uh, feed two o two f minus f leftovers. Wait, one o one r two f minus f leftovers. Uh, do I want to convert reed to stone? Uh, mm, no politician. 
So one read, one bore, feed two, minus a food for leftovers, harvest this, read, read. I think he starts with six wood for four stables. That's not a bad play. So Kaviki has two actions this round. Plow sows. I got a plow here. Clay hut extension is still possible. Uh, so I could. Take wood, clay hut extension, or build. I should probably just go for stone. What is that four wood doing for JP? That's kind of weird. Kimball took so bake. Yeah, th this game's... Uh, not gonna end how I wanted. Um, Now I can think about clay oven. Ah, curtail and convert. That's where it is. And then plow, plow, so. For JP. Makes sense, I guess. Okay, so what I have to consider is, is renoing even worth it now? Because I could just turn these two stone to two reed and I could um, clay oven. Oh, I can start player clay hut extension and growth clay oven. Oh, Kimball has room though. Dang it. <sighs> uh. 
I think I'll pass. Um... I would totally do it if it worked, but I don't think it's going to work. Maybe I should have seen that coming last round if I was a bit sharper here. All right, which oven is better for me? Play, I can still get a six point two move sequence. Clay hut extension run out. Well, I also have these BMW read, so I don't want to spend too many read, though I guess it's not going to matter. Ugh. Did I have resources for that and I just missed it? It's possible that you're right. This is a six point sequence that feeds me and. Uh, The other one, yeah, you're probably right. I probably miss a point or two. I don't think it's going to matter, but you're right. I think I miss a point or two. So I feed eight, get all these bread. I'm a rule breaker. Uh, oh, I eat a grain that's leftover or read for leftovers. So I have 44 plus two. Yeah, JP has 40, Kaviki 40, no, uh, 41 maybe, 40 also. Yeah, so it didn't really matter, I just made lose a point. Yeah, thank you, Medino. Uh, did the best with what I could. I mean, this is pretty good for a double late growth game, uh, just that there was, there was no beating this, uh, this stuff, Treehouse, Diligent, Chief, that's that's a really nice game. And I mean, Kimball is definitely one of the best players. So um, to everyone who's still here, thank you so much for watching. This was a fun, quick game. Uh, game, uh, four player game number 1000 for me tomorrow. Um, let me know if, if there are any ideas, if I should just play a game with uh, Twitch people. No, game 1000 has got to be uh, tomorrow. It's a Friday and the week on a fun note. Uh, let's see, what did I miss here? Uh, see, I'm definitely correct. Three stone and a reed looking suspicious at all times. Yes, Kimball, turns out. Who knew? Tomorrow's Friday? I think so. Yeah, survey says tomorrow's Friday. Um, so we'll do game 1000 on a Friday. And, uh, 
Yeah, I had Animal Farm, and I messed up my wood, I guess, a tiny bit. I don't think the extra actions would have helped me too much. Uh, maybe a couple extra points, and I should have gone for it. Yeah, I didn't do a great job min-maxing, but Kimball, you had this one from the draft once Chris puts growth in 7 and 13. You have this man to thank. All right, uh, let's see here. Is there anyone to host right now? Should I just wear a Batman costume? I guess that's on the table. Uh, okay, so on the VOD, thanks for watching and see you for the next one. Uh, next video after this should be game 1000, so hopefully you enjoy that one as well. All right, thanks.